Hey friends, it's me, Apol, here with another Hive Swap Friendism video. Um, today we are going to be doing Tizius and Take, or whatever her name is. Um, last time we did Chixie's Good Root, um, so prediction for this one will be good. Let's hope this one's good. This girl looks like she's done with everything, so... <laughs> Um, here we go. Just up ahead, you see a troll leave her hive, muttering to herself. She's holding an unstable mountain of papers and books with one arm, using her free arm to hold the mug steady. She isn't paying attention to you, which is fine. Don't get it twisted, you'd love to make another new friend. You just understand now is that it's we a weird flighty thing. Some trolls you mesh with, some you don't. You smile at her just in case, but when she walks right by you without stopping, you shrug. This planet is chock full with friendable weirdos. You'll live. Only a few more steps before this only a few more steps before the sounds of her absolutely eating shit on the sidewalk makes you turn. It happens so fast that you are only really that you only really see the oh, excuse me. It happens so fast that you only really see the aftermath of upended books and papers raining down in an impress impressively wide circle around her. <sighs> uh ah, globes. Damn ass rock. She sits up, but that's about as far as she bothers to get. After taking a sip from her mug, which is somehow, which somehow must have stayed level in her grip during her fall, she seems to get, she see what? Nope. She sighs and gets to work gathering it, gathering it all back up with her free hand. Yeah, this checks out as a thing that would happen to me. It's not like I have anything else to be doing. You've seen a teen movie or two in your day. You know this trope. The cool kid helps the unpopular nerd after they fall like a chump in the, and embarrass themselves. Then slowly, the pair establishes trust. By the time the credits roll, they've already gone and fallen, fallen in love. Not that you're necessarily, not that you necessarily want to fall in love or that you're under any delusion that you're in any way cooler than her, but still. It's tired. It's tried and true, and also like a pretty standard and decent purple, purple. <laughs> Where did I get purple? <laughs> and also like a pretty standard and decent person thing to do. So, like the decent person you hope to be, you skedaddle on over. You stop short just in front of her to make a wide flung ring of items. And what? Just in front of her, wide flung ring of items. Okay. You want to make sure she's not going to yell at you or murder you or anything before you interfere. What? <laughs> JK, I busted ass. I know it's a scene. Well, what are you waiting for? Be a good bystander and stop standing by. <laughs> she gestures uh, kind of all around her and that's confirmation enough. You bend to pick up a heavy, uh, heavy looking book, and there it is, emblazoned right on the cover. A gavel, a humongo fucker of judgment implement too, with spines all around the handle. So it's a giant book, right? That's, that's, okay. Dread creeps up your spine, you slowly slide your gaze from the book's cover to its owner. She doesn't have any ostentatiously blood color themed clothes on though wow she is sporting socks and sandals maybe you are cooler than her after all but very prominent eye bags but the very prominent eye bags are tinged teal ah globes a lawyer <laughs> it's not that you don't appreciate your one lawyer friend for who he is it's just you aren't sure you have it in you to sneak your way into the heart of another You've got a, you've got kind of lucky last time. The scales of your judgment and your heart start away in your chances. Um, 
Uh, so I can keep standing here like a paralyzed idiot, or I can pick up more papers. So, um, let's be a good person and pick up more papers. You start making neat piles all over her stuff. What? Neat piles of all her stuff. After watching you for a second, like she's making sure you're not screwing it up, she dramatically heaves herself to her feet and joins in the effort. Ugh, I don't have time for this shit. Make sure you keep the B-34s together in my red folder. You look down at your current pile. Uh, B. That's the one with the little hook on top, right? Or is that G? The sweat pricks at your temples. You've picked up a little bit of written alternian here and there, but you're still not anywhere near competent at it. Sifting through the papers, you search for anything familiar. You make out a few words, but there are just those but there are just a lot of those little guys on these papers. And you've got a per, you've got performance anxiety. Oh, right. You probably still can't read. You look up at her, startled. How can she tell? Well, I mean, you don't look much like a troll. It isn't exactly a gargantuan mental leap to assume that you're not from around here. But I've also heard about you. You straighten up. Any good press is, any press is good press when it comes to friends discussing you, right? Teal's talk. Oh. Unfortunately. Oh. She puts her mug down and down on the ground and picks up a fallen book, talking as she flips to whatever page she's looking for. That little asshole is going to be even more unfor going to have even more unfortunate crap to say with with uh, to say to me with when he finds out that I set us all back, dropping half our group project in a ditch. She paces. She paces in flustered circles until she finds a bookmark among the debris. Flicking a wet leaf off of it, she shoves it into the open spine of the book and slams it closed. Ugh, whatever. I can't think about that yet. I gotta get this all back in order first. <coughs> right, yeah, the ordering of stuff. You keep at it. Doing your best, you can't. Doing the best you can to keep similar-looking things together. You can feel her eyes on your back, and you turn to face judgment. You basically got it right, actually. He did say you were quick at the draw. I'm Tizius, by the way. She doesn't look. She doesn't so much smile at you as grimace. It looks mostly pleased, as exhausted expressions go. That's as good as- that's good friendship building material as any other. You've certainly started with worse than being complimented. The breeze plays at the ends of her frizzy, air, frizzy hair, ruffling a few pages while it's at it. Hmm. Now that you aren't frantically trying to prove your helpfulness and have a moment to think, you don't know if the sidewalk is the best place to be starting from scratch with a whole filing system. You open your mouth and- you open, you open your mouth to tell her as much when a huge Papa Gus follows in Breeze Jr.'s wake, following the, uh, following, blowing the neat stacks of, <laughs> neat stacks, <laughs> neat stacks back into chaos. Oh, mother grubbing. Ah. Uh. She slowly sinks back to the, back down on the snow globe of paper, takes a long sip from her mug sitting next to her, and tilts her head back and unleashes a single deep gut holler. You scuttle around, catching documents out of the air until the the gust is gone. Oh, she looks so like defeated. <laughs> It's not that Tizius doesn't seem capable, it's just that she seems a bit burnt out. You know that. You know what it's like to feel like you're at the end of your rope. So now that you have a now that you have now that you have half a swinging grab at your handle on things here, you feel like it's your turn to do some heavy friendship lifting. To do the heavy friendship lifting. Um 
suggests a small breather might help, or offer to help her organize it all somewhere with less of a breeze risk. Um... Hmm. I don't know. She looks like she needs a break. Let's do that. You know a breaking point when you see one. You weren't expecting it so early in a potential friendship encounter, but still, it's clear that this troll needs some time to chill. This is a mess, yeah? She swings the pendulum of her chin over to glare deadened knives at your guts. Okay, yes, it's a mess. But it seems like maybe just perhaps it would be best to sort of pin put a pin in it all. Put a pin in it all. To suck air in and out of your insufflation sacks or whatever and just get together, get it together for a minute. No group projects were ever aced in the clear when the clear leader was not at her peak mental performance. <coughs> she wrinkles her nose up and closes her eyes. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. Not all of it, of course, but this night specifically and everything and anyone I know or have thought extensively about before in my life. So, that just leaves you. What do you have in mind, friend? Because I am all out of ideas. That word still does a number on you, no matter how many times you hear it used flippantly. You have an idea already, so you hurriedly gather her shit into extremely unorganized piles, which she drops off in her hive to deal with later. You half expect her to just not come back out, but she does, and she's kept one heavily annotated tome in her mug, which she nods at when she speaks. I know, I know, but these are just in case. Anyway, uh, do your worst. With a salute and a few gentle tugs at Tizius' sleeve to keep her moving, you get going. Oh, she's bouncing as she walks. That's so cute. I love this game. <laughs> You and your Alternian pals have taken turns leading each other into some pretty wild places in your time here. The place you take Tizius to, though, is somewhere you haven't shared with anyone. Do -do 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 -do. It's where you come back to on your days when you can't find a friend or you don't want to impose on any of the ones you've made. It's on the outskirts of town where the buildings are spread thinner until the landscape cuts upward with a jagged cliff face bolted to the side of the rock as a tower, or what's left of one. It's basically a heap of scaffolding and rusted out ladders holding up a half-covered platform, but it's been a good place to staunch bleeding and stargaze. Hmm. Do I give off the outdoorsy vibe to you? Does my half-untucked button-up and paltry muscle mass scream. I would love to scurry up a depalitated relic. You'd worry about her hating your plan, but you'd kind of feel like she'd complain no matter where you took her. And at this point, the die is cast, so heave-ho, you say. It's stronger than it looks. You offer to hold her stuff for her during the, uh, during the ascent. She gives you the book, but clutches the mug against her chest. I wonder what she's drinking. <laughs> You know better than to pry, but you are dying a little bit wondering why she's so weird about it. Unless she's got liquor made from viscera in there. Well, that might be it. <laughs> or maybe her Lucis gave her the mug, so it's kind of special. Could be both. You shrug and start climbing. Tagora's Lucis was a ferret, right? Yes. Or was it an otter? What was his Lucis? I'm not gonna think too hard about it. Like you thought, she, like you thought she would, she follows, and like before, she complains about it the whole time. Like the structure itself, you both weather it fine. At the top, she looks around. Is this your hive? It's more like a hideout. You still feel a little shy about it. It's not as fancy as your friends as your friend's hives, and you don't have any weird animal parent to make you snacks or anything. <laughs> there are only little keepsakes you've picked up along the way, 
set up on a creaky old table next to some complicated old tech you couldn't get to power on. This must be an old watchtower from when it was part of her imperial bitchiness's preferred method of surveillance. She runs a hand over a dusty screen. Oh, Triza, you've learned about her. Huh, no. The, her bigger, badder, off-world counterpart, the Condis. Ah, you look at the rusted barrel of, of some terrifying weapon. You, re you look at the rusted barrel of some terrifying weapon mounted on the corner. And then over at the landscape of sprawling town. Over at the landscape and, pr and sprawling town. What? And sprawling town. In the distance, smoke rises from a freshly demolished hive. Glinting in the moonlight, drones circle it, circle it like buzzards. It's been like this. It's been like this here for a while, then. You sit down, your legs dangling off the side of the platform. Tizius joins you a safe distance away from the edge. That's one hell of an understatement. But yeah, we've got a time-honored status quo in operation here. Streamlined. Efficient. And brutal. Tizius looks miserable. That's not what you were going for. You summon up the good old Roy Jibiv in your head for the thousand thousands th thousands so no this is stop <laughs> thousandth for the thousandth time oh my god <laughs> she should be safe right teals are middle class and anyway she's a lawyer she's got the powers that be on her side she got the powers that be on her side Saying, saying so doesn't seem to cheer her up at all. I mean, you're not wrong. But being in a position to benefit from the system doesn't make the system any more morally palatable. And if I'm being real about it, it's more me being forced to uphold it than anything else. She nods towards the book in your hands. Oh, right. How does this all work, anyway? Can she just not be a lawyer? Aren't there any good ones? Aren't there any good ones? Yeah, I can quit if I want to get cold. There's always a choice. She sighs. Oh. And it's not like I expect suffering to ever stop. It's not like I expect suffering to ever stop completely. It just seems like an awful lot of work to do to make sure it keeps happening. And that's the entire job of a legislature. Unless you're purple enough to get away with it, you're just guilty, no matter what. It's just a matter of going through all the fanfare of a trial, all for the same result. It's sick, but it's normal by now, and no one knows how to begin to question it. She looks more exhausted now than she did during the paper explosion. Like you've used up, like when you've used up all your sadness, used up your sadness and all, and all you have is a deep, broken fatigue. This isn't exactly the rejuvening, rejuvenating getaway you envisioned. There's just so much injustice. Huh. I like her. I can see her playing a big role in Hive Swap. You continue not to be- what? No. You continue to try to be positive. There are no political parties, some secret underground movements or anything. Sure, most lowbloods you've met have a healthy, fantastic, uh, fatalistic nonchalance about their situations, but there's gotta be something else out there. There were a few people who tried to stir up shit back in the day. It's all kind of hushed up and hard to keep any information on the history of them, though. Hard to find any information. Definitely not the kind of thing they teach you in legislature training. One was a mutant blood and the other had wings. Ah, the summoner and the signless. My good boys. 
So, I guess they didn't have much of a chance anyway. You can't imagine the story having a happy ending, but you still want to know more. There's the subtlest shift, shift in her tone of voice that she's doing more than, ju than only complaining. Now that she's doing more than only complaining, it draws you in. One of them seems to have gathered enough of a following to have become a kind of religious figure from what little I can find out about him. The other one led a military revolt. They both were killed all along with their attempts at change. I don't even know what happened to their compatriots. She stops to squint at you. I don't know how you got me talking like this, but the fuck it spirit of the night, I'm but in the fuck it spirit of the night, I'm just gonna keep going. If it wasn't clear, I'm telling you things that could get me extremely cold. So, like, please be chill. You are so chill. You're the chillest. And probably pretty cullable yourself. Good point. She squints at you a little longer and then stares out into the night. Her jaw muscle clenches a few times before she speaks. I have some ideas. She's still not looking at you, but she sits up a little straighter, and you feel your spine following suit almost on its own. All of us training to be legislators like to practice throwing our weight around. Some of us more than others, which I guess you have first-hand experience with. But we don't have that much real power yet. We will, though, if we pass our exams, which I will. I've been staying up most days studying every documented piece of law and some underground stuff too when I find it. There are exploitable loopholes they don't know about. If I can establish myself as a major player, I might have a chance to change things. Some things you can only take apart from the inside out. By now, she's built up a fevered energy, even with the sluggish way she talks. Even when you shift, uh, when you shift in your seat, she kind of snaps out of it. Oh, sorry. I guess I got a little worked up. I don't exactly get to talk about this very often. It's kind of overwhelming to think about how fucked every little thing here is all the time. But now that I see it clearly, I can't not do something. It's like Alternia is a giant fire and I'm pissing on a tiny corner of it while the rest of everything burns up around me. Your brain is buzzing with how real all of that felt. You can't really add anything to it, so you just nod. Are things less abysmal where you're from? Ho oh ho boy. In ways, yeah. At home, the accused is called a defendant. At least, as in, they get a defense. Her eyes brighten. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Does your justice system work? You exhale slowly, trying to buy yourself time to encapsulate all of your planet's various cultures, societal structures, and similarly overwhelming list of injustices in an, intel in an intelligent blurb. You settle on, not always, not for everyone. Her laugh is short and hollow. So much for enlightened life forms existing somewhere in the universe. You guess, you guess until more kind, until a more kind of kind and just alien life form comes to take over, you'll just have to make do with each other. Yeah, you're not so bad. I'd take an oppre you'd, I'd take on an oppressive regime with you any time. She gives your arm an awkward tap with her fist. And then looks back over the edge. Anyway, I'm no religious figure or military strategist. There's gotta be someone out there who is. Gotta use what skills I have instead, I guess, until I find them. What the fuck else would I do with my time? Keep pissing on the fire is the best anybody can do, you reckon? And that... What? You reckon that and others get hydrated enough and get others hydrated enough to do the same. She laughs. Keep on pissing, huh? 
I'll drink to that. <laughs> she takes a big swig from her mug. After a beat, she, <laughs> she silently and without looking at you extends her arm your way. You stare at the mug's depths, a little unnerved. It doesn't look like viscera, but you've been burned before. It won't kill you. <coughs> We're gonna find out what it is! You're not sure what it will do, but Tizius is truthful, if nothing else. So, bottoms up. What the fuck? It's... water. It's just water. <laughs> Tizius grins and taps her temple with a claw. Gotta give the people something. Otherwise, they might think I'm the way I am. What? Otherwise, they might think I'm the way I am on my own. Then, where would we be? Huh. You don't know. Letting people in can be helpful, you know, sometimes. Shh. Shh. <laughs> I'm fine. You're not convinced. Okay, I'll admit it. It's a bad idea to relax every once in a while. It's not a bad idea to relax every once in a while. You get get your priorities straight. This was a decent time. You're glad she's glad, but mostly you just talk but most but you mostly just talk the whole time about the same stuff that she was overwhelmed by to begin with. Does that even count? You learned a lot, but she still looks pretty wiped. As soon as you think that, she yawns. She's so driven. You shiver a bit when you imagine that what she could do if she took the time to rest for real. You pat the pile of blankets next to you. It's no bed, or tub of soap or slime, or for that matter, but it's gotten you through enough. She looks warily at it and yawns again. I guess my Lucis and my mate's Brit will just think I'm at the book hive anyway. One little nap won't hurt. I'll get up early tomorrow and reorganize our stupid busy work project. She tentatively lowers herself down onto the, onto the blankets. Her eyes close for a brief second before they snap open again, glaring at you with full force. Don't doubt me, either. I've got it under control. Oh, you have zero doubts about doubts in her abilities, you say. She curls up against herself in a small rattle of contentedness. Shakes her shakes in her throat. Oh, a small rattle of content contentedness. <sighs> in the distance a blaze the blaze is dimmed to a thin plume of smoke. Plume plume of smoke. You hope whoever's hive it is, whoever's hive it was, is okay. You're not sleepy, so you'll just watch and make sure she gets up by sunrise. You tilt your head back and gets up by sunrise. You tilt your head back and look up at the unfamiliar constellations. Your head feels full. It's intense and not exactly what you'd call happy, but you know that you're feeling it with her, and that's far from nothing. Aww, victory! Well, that was cute. I like this. I like the way this is going. <laughs> this is good. Okay, um, so that was the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing this game, which is a heck of a lot. Um, if you would like to play the game yourself, there will be a link in the description to the Steam page where you can buy it. It is only $1 for each DLC. Um, if you want to, if you don't want to buy the game, you can, you're welcome to watch my, um, videos on it, which will be linked in a playlist at the end of the video that you can click on and go see the first few videos are not that great, honestly, because I was still figuring out how to get my shit to work. But, um, yeah, it's definitely worth it, I think. <laughs> um, oh, what just happened? Oh, okay. Um, anyways, 
Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I plan on doing more Hive Swap stuff in the future, and I actually think I'm going to play the actual Hive Swap game at some point before Act 2 comes out. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> that clusterfuck because I'm actually terrible at playing games like absolutely awful but uh yeah so uh that's it I will see you all in the next video bye